everyone. Welcome to today's update. Today is Wednesday, March 18th. So in the markets today, market was down huge. We are we're closed at the time of this recording. Market's been closed for about 20 minutes. S&P's down 4%. But they were down almost 10% at one point. And you can see I've got my chart set up showing year-to-date percentage performance. So S&P was at one point down about 30 plus percent. And it bounced a little bit right before the close. But this rally that we're seeing back up to where it is right now, I mean, that happened, this is the future. So this, this happened just in the last 15, 20 minutes after the market closed. So bouncing hard after hours. S&P at this time down four, Dow down over five, NASDAQ down almost three, and Russell hit the hardest, still down over seven and a half. Oil taking a major hit today as well, down over 16%. Remember, we, we dropped about 2530 on that Sunday night following the Saudi Arabia and Russia turmoil, and then it's continued to slide here. So we actually dipped our toes back in, started selling some more premium in oil with implied volatility this huge, and you know, kind of the range that we're, we're seeing now, we look to sell a little premium. If you look at the year-to-date performance, I mean, oil down over 62% year-to-date, so just a massive move there. Gold down 2.5%, continues its big daily range. If we look at bonds, bonds down again today as well. Not as, And they, they made a, a, a rally from their lows as well, but uh, still down about a percent and a half, which bonds is actually, uh, that slide is actually a little welcome to us. When we had this big rally, that was pretty painful, this part right here especially, and then it's come right back down into uh, the center of some of our trade. So bonds bonds doing well for us at this point. Natty gas down another 5%. Some of the grains up. Well, corn's down, wheat's up. So a mixed bag in the greens. If we take a look at some of the stocks out there that we watch, you know, some of these stocks, you know, Amazon actually up on the day. And it's pretty flat on the year, only down about 3%, 3.5% on the year. Boeing getting slaughtered again today, down almost 18%. No bailout is coming for the airlines yet. I still think that's going to happen. I've been kind of nibbling here on Boeing and a couple others, a couple other stocks I wanted to point out. Capital One Financial getting hammered. Banks getting hammered again today. Delta Airlines down 26%. Airlines getting just slaughtered. If you look at you know some of these others, you know if you look at like Netflix for example which obviously the effect of coronavirus on Netflix has not been nearly as impactful. I mean, Netflix is down 4% on the year, so it's, it's definitely seen a little bit of downside, but not near the downside some of these other stocks have seen. So if you're looking for you know, stronger stocks during this period, it, you know, look for stocks that aren't really, or companies that are really a little bit more immune to the virus, Netflix being one. Another one would be Zoom, ZM. You know, Zoom is the kind of webinar or teleconference software that people, so a lot of businesses, instead of having in-person meetings, they're doing Zoom calls and, and web conferences. Zoom is up 72% year to date. I mean, this stock has not been hit at all the rest of the market. So, you know, those are the kind of stocks that, you know, if, if you want to be long stocks during this period, those are the ones to look at. You know, some of these others, you know, Starbucks continues to get uh, to get hit a little bit, although it bounced hard at the end of the day as well. Uber getting hammered over down over 20%. You know, nobody is nobody's getting out. Everybody is staying home. So travel, hotels, you know, all those kind of stocks are just getting hammered. So casinos, I mean, look at wind down another 20%. It's down 70% year to date. So a lot of blood in the streets, my friends. Just again, stay small. I can't stress that enough. Don't be in a rush. You know, if, if you lost money during this slide, do not be in a rush to try to get it back. You've got to be smart about this and just take precautions. You know, we're starting to dip our toes back in slowly every day, kind of adding a position, continuing to keep our short positions in place, and just managing those positions as you see fit, but don't try to be a hero. Don't try to pick bottoms and tops here. We are, we're just trying to play probabilities and with, with premium as juiced as, as it is, you've still got huge, massive ranges. And so 
one thing that we're doing, if you know, for our pro members, if you notice, we're not doing a whole lot in individual stocks. When you get implied volatility spiking like it has in our methodology and the way that we trade, there's really no reason to get into a lot of stocks. It's really about using ETFs and futures and you know broad market indices because there's plenty of premium in those to manage and sell premium and and do the different strategies that we teach. So hope that helps. Everybody have a great evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.